in keeping with this year's theme for the International Women's Day, Digital Springer Nature Women is joining hands with the Women in Science Working Group of the Global Young Academy to showcase some women who are at the forefront of using digital technology and innovation to change the way we do science and its communication. I use technology and innovation to fuel my science in this digital age. It allows advanced experimental approaches, data sharing beyond borders, science communication and elaborate networking. The latest advancements in the field of artificial intelligence really allow us to explore new ways of content creation. We aim to enable researchers to create, submit and consume research in the most simple and convenient way so that they can focus on research and career progression. Technology is a great enable for women scientists because it empowers them, boosts their creativity, breaks gender barrier and puts them in the spotlight. Digitalization, artificial intelligence and machine learning are helping more and more women break the glass ceiling across the world. This is made possible by better data, better analytical tools and a wider way to connect and disseminate information across the globe. Most importantly, this helps women leaders support and mentor future generations of leaders to come together and speak fearlessly about equality. It helps me to bring more food safety, allows me to connect to the world and do better food science so that I'm able to directly improve the life of the society. Digitalization, artificial intelligence and machine learning are enabling more women to break the glass ceiling by transforming their career path, gaining new opportunities, taking up leadership roles, developing innovative solutions and creating a great workforce environment. Innovation and technological change empowers women in science to include people of different ethnicity, gender, sexuality, age and disability. Let us all pledge our support for technological empowerment for women in science and its communication.